everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. We were finally able to do some Ikea shopping today. We had a list going. It has been a few months since we've been able to go and we didn't even walk in with the thought in mind to purchase a table, but we just tend to look at everything when we're there. We found one that is super perfect for my she shed and what I had in mind with a few extra little twists that I want to do to it. So today I'm going to share with you how we are going to take the IKEA Norden table, give it a little bit of a facelift to make it work in our space. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing we do is unbox everything. As you can see here, this table had three boxes of materials and basically why we do this is because just because a box is labeled number one doesn't necessarily mean that those supplies in there are for your first steps. So we just go ahead and take all the packaging off and set all of the trash to the side and lay everything out. All right, so here's all the pieces unboxed. We have the instructions. It says 27 steps. We're gonna see how long this takes us to put together. Does anybody wanna guess? It is 7 p.m. <laughs> on the dot right now. And actually, what I'm going to do is we are going to build the bottom and I'm gonna paint the bottom white. So I'm gonna use a white chalk paint. Instead of this being a wood bottom, I'm gonna paint it white. The top I'm gonna leave. I love the top, it's kinda of like a butcher block style. So basically we're, we're gonna build the bottom. We're not gonna put the whole thing together today. I'm actually gonna paint this and let it sit overnight. So we'll see how long it takes to basically build the bottom. All right, so this is not going to go together the way I was hoping. We are gonna have to build this kind of all at one time instead of making a bottom and making a top because the legs screw into the top part so that kind of makes it a little bit difficult to do this in the steps that I was wanting, but that's okay. That's what they make painter's tape for. So now we're moving on to step number 10 and we're gonna add the legs.
All right, so here's what it looks like all put together. Let me show you what time it is, how long it took to build the whole thing. All right, well, it's blurry, but it is 7.44. So it took us about 45 minutes, probably a little less than that to build it. That's the leaf in the back. And like I was saying, I wanna leave the top as is. It's a beautiful butcher block top, but I'm gonna paint the bottom with chalk paint. I think it'll look nice with the rug. So I am using Rust-Oleum's chalked chalk paint in the color linen white. And I think we're gonna try to take the top off. If I can't take the top off, then we're just gonna tape the top so you I don't paint the top. And then I'm gonna paint from this little apron here down. All right, so we got the top off. I put it on the tarp, we put it on two by four so it's not sitting on the floor. Excuse my air conditioner, it's turning on right now. And I'm going to use my Vintage Tonality chalk paint brushes. I will link those down in the description box. This is what I use for chalk painting all my furniture. It comes with three different brushes. I will likely probably only use this bigger one for that. So I'm probably gonna have to do two coats possibly three unless I want to distress it a little bit and I may do that. So I'll let you know after I get the first coat on. Now, just to be clear, I did not do anything to prep the surface of this. Looking back, I wish I would have taken my liquid deglosser to this because it had a pretty glossy finish and that would have kind of given the chalk paint a little bit better of a base to adhere to. But usually chalk paint, especially this Rust-Oleum brand, is a really great product. You don't have to do any sanding or uh, prep. You can go ahead and just put the chalk paint directly on your surface and it will stick to most surfaces. All right, so here's after the very first coat. I think I'm only gonna do two coats. It's covering pretty good since it's a light wood. And then I will seal it with a clear matte polycrylic. I absolutely love the look of this finished table after the addition of the chalk paint on the bottom. I did let the chalk paint sit overnight before adding those two coats of polycrylic and then we slid the top right back on. We did have to add some more bolts to it from underneath but it was pretty simple. I was so excited to finally use this centerpiece crate, which is a Magnolia Market dupe. I will put that tutorial down in the description box for you. I have it sitting on a table runner from Hobby Lobby, along with some greenery from Hobby Lobby as well. Paired with the table, I have some uh, vintage chairs that I recycled and upcycled. I will put that tutorial down in the description box as well. Super cute with this table. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of questions about the rug and I will link that down in the description box. It is from Amazon and it was a very, very affordable rug. I have it in a 5x7 size. If you enjoy IKEA hacks, I will have more popping up on the screen for you to check out next. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.